everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are driving into something super exciting for all the ai enthusiasts as well as developers those who are uh, willing to develop their own chatbots within minutes so we don't need any gpu no problem we have the docker model runner that we will be using in order to make the chatbots so in this video, I'll be showcasing you like how to spin up a powerful local chatbot using a Docker and a small LM that I'll be using in this. So we don't need any fancy hardware or any complicated setup. Just one command will be running up and we will be chatting with the LLM in minutes. So uh, before we proceed, there are certain prerequisites are there that we need to have. Like we need to have a Docker desktop, at least a 4.4 version installed. So let me take you to the Docker desktop screen. So from there, you can get an idea which version to be installed and what are the key things need to be look into it before we start this. So you can see over here, this is my Docker desktop being installed. And if I go to the settings over here and make it sure if you go to the beta features over here, and this one is enabled. And that's it. So if you go to the journal, the rest, all the things are fine. Just we need to make sure this one only, this one should be enabled, host side uh, TCP support. And that's it. And you can see I'm running the version v4.43.2. So if you're running lesser or low version, you won't be able to get those features. So make it sure you're running an updated version. And then once we are into this, you'll be getting this model MCP toolkit and uh, we have this Ask Gordon and all. You can look into my previous video in which I have discussed about all those things. But in today's video, we'll be just uh, running, using the Docker model running in order to run uh, LLM and how to we can use this for chat port and all. So whether you're a beginner or something, testing some local models or something, uh, your main purpose will be like to skip the cloud and all and to set up very fast, free, and completely offline. So if you're looking into something like this, so whether you're building some uh, generative AI applications or experimenting with some machine learning workflows, or you're trying to integrate like AI into your software development lifecycle, so we have this Docker model runner that will uh, provide us a consistent, secure, and efficient way to work with the AI models locally. So you can see under the models over here, so you can see these are the two models that I have uh, downloaded. So you can just go to the Docker Hub and you can search for the model, whichever model you want. If you want to check the logs, you can have the logs also, you can see. So if you go over here, you can see. So we have this, uh, small lm m2 m3 and all those things now you can see there are different variants are there so we have to make it sure we download the correct variant and all so instead of doing this either you can go with the terminal over here you can go with the terminal or you can if you have a vs code you can use the terminal so basically we will be running this command as we showcase you the command so we can utilize this so when you run this command, so basically it will pull the image if it is not there. So we have to use Docker model run AI Llama 3.2. That is the image that I'm going to pull, the latest one. So I already have over here in my local. You can see, even I have for the small M2, LM M2. So this is how we can download. Along with it, you can write it over here. Uh, what is Docker. So this is from the terminal I'm showing, showcasing you this example. Okay, so you can see the response is coming. You can do the control C in order to quit. So just to showcase you, you can also run it in the interactive mode if you want it. So if you do like this, you can see you have to put slash by to exit. 
So you can ask the same question, Docker, or something like, what is Docker? So this is, I'm just showing you with the terminal how we can have it. So you can see Control C to the exit. So this is how we can run the model in the directory mode once it is being downloaded. So make it sure you use the Docker model run, whatever model you have. You can search it from the Docker hub and you can download it. So once the, it pulls the image and then it stores it and you can run it like this. So this is how you can run it locally. But uh, for today's purpose, like what we are doing over here is more interesting. We want to make a chat put on the top of it. So what are we have done over here, like uh, I've gone to this one. This one is from the Docker itself. So you can clone this repo and you can use this command, git clone. And this is the hello gen AI. Then you went go inside the hello gen AI. I will just showcase you this one. I have done it over here. You can see this is the report that has been cloned over here. We have uh, this this particular uh, old example. We have uh, three four options: Go, Node, Python, and Rust. So these four options are there that will be running on different different ports. Now, if you explore this, there is a Docker file that install the dependencies and there is a docker compose file now if you see this compose file i have removed few things because i don't want to run it with the node or rust i just kept it for python at the go so if you go to that file docker compose file you can see you can customize you can if you don't want to keep it the whole thing you can just keep the portion that in which technology you want to run it and rest you can just remove it off just like this you can remove it. You can just keep it for Python. That will be running on port. Whatever port, if you want, you can run it. So just because if you keep on, if you try to uh, Docker Compose hyphen D, it will take some time to spin up all those resources. So instead of spending time on that, you can just simply uh, modify this Compose file and then accordingly you can. Docker Compose D, you can run it. Now, the most important thing, once you have cloned it, the most important thing is here. Here, we have to provide the correct model that you want to use it. So, as I mentioned, you, I'm just using this small LM2. So, if you check it in the Docker desktop, and this is the same model I'm using over here. So, you can click on this. So, we need to copy this and put it in the environment variable. So that is must, this is that's an important thing that you need to take care if you're using uh, Llama 3.2, you can use it, but you have to mention it over here and make it sure you have done the Docker model run and the model is locally available. Then only you can integrate with this. So once you have uh, modified this, now as per this GitHub repo over here, as per uh, Docker, uh, in this one, you can see over here, if I go to the readme file over here, they are telling you to, this is the base URL of the LLM API, that's fine. Now model name, and after cloning, go to the directory, then we have the dot run sh. Now I was having some issues running this dot run sh, the, the shell script over here. So if you go into the script over here, it's nothing, it's just running and just uh, making it show your model name and all those things are in place. If no model is not there, it is pulling the model and then it is just running the uh, Docker Compose up. So rather than depending upon this, you can just simply run it by yourself. You can Docker Compose hyphen D as I've already uh, been running this to containers. So it is just simply went into the running stage. But when you are running for the first time, it may take some time. So if you see over here in the containers, now we have over here, You can see the one with the Go and one with the Python. So it's your choice. You can modify the... So let me showcase you this option over here. Now, uh, with the Python is working on 8081. So let me... So you can see over here, localhost 8081. 
Uh, you can ask over here some questions. Tell me about Docker. So it is interacting with the local LLM that is being uh, that's being downloaded. So I'm just using the small. You can you try with different different models depending upon your requirements. So making sure your containers are running. So the, basically, this is a front end being created through that GitHub repo that I have just cloned it. So, okay, so there is some error being encountered. Let me check over here. I think I made some changes, or so let me check the environment variables. Okay, that looks fine. Let me refresh once. And so you can see I got a response telling me about Docker. So it's giving a detail over here. Similarly, you can ask some more questions. If you're getting some error, make it sure you uh, just run the containers Docker Compose D again. And sometimes this issue is there, then you can just say hi or something. And similarly, I have run it in the Go, but they internally they are calling the same model. It's taking some time because I'm using the very tiniest model. So you can utilize with some other different models and see how those. They give the response and all you can see i'm getting some error uh, introduction query i'm happy to help and all so this is how you can utilize this so you can utilize this github repo in order to create a chatbot and different different uh applications in the go python node or rest and make it sure you download different other models and try with different other models you can try with lama 3.2 and all so depending upon that, you can check it, whether you're getting the quickest responses or not. So do give a try to this model runner, Docker model runner. So this is how we can easily, uh, like seamless integration we can do with the Docker desktop and the LLM models. So it will provide you a consistent, secure, and efficient way to work with AI models back to locally without thinking about the cloud cost and connectivity and all those things. So I think that's all from my side. You can give it a try. So remember the commands, only a few commands only. Just clone this repo. And if you want, you can uh, modify this Docker Compose and then you can change the environment variable, whatever model that you want to use it. And that's it. So you can, uh, so you just build a chat for locally with the zero GPU and the minimal setup. So if you found this one helpful, and drop a like here and subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comment section what model you're running or what you want to see in the next so remember uh, you do not need a server farm or explore llms so we just need docker a few minutes and that's a good idea right so thanks for watching i will catch you in the next one so do share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching